to my channel. If you like the look that I've created today, which is a nice soft mauve look, then keep on watching. I see with my eyebrow shape a lot because <laughs> I actually made them really too thin when I started plucking them. Don't start plucking them and have it really close up because then you get a little crazy. Um, I was trying to thin them out and I think I did it too much. So I'll be messing with my eyebrow shape a lot during the next few videos. Should be a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> but um, anyways, I have a couple things that I want to go ahead and review and look over. And you're probably going to hear my daughter running around in the background because she doesn't have school today. So this is going to be a really fun video. Um, I'm going to go through the ColourPop You Had Me at Hello. This is a beautiful palette. As always, ColourPop usually never disappoints me with their palettes. This is a very beautiful palette. It's got all the names on the back, um, which does take a little bit getting used to to me because I'm used to having them all written right here. But it's a beautiful palette, and I thought because I'm wearing purple, I'm feeling purple vibe. It's still winter. I thought I'll just go for a nice, cool-toned look, and this palette just grabbed me up. Also, I'm going to be trying out the Tarte's new um, highlighter that they have out. Um, it is High Performance Naturals. It's called Goddess Glow Highlighter. I'm looking forward to trying this out. And also during this video, I'll be using the Man Eater um, Regular Liner, their Mascara, and their um, Liquid Liner. I've been really interested in trying this out. I also have a BH Cosmetics, two of them, that I'm going to try out together. One is the metallic liquid lip and the other is just their regular liquid lip. This one's in Samantha and this one is in Agatha. They are both in the purpley tones but I figured this would go probably nice. As you can tell you can hear my daughter. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab a um, transition brush, a nice fluffy one, BH Cosmetics number 5. I use this one a lot for transition. Um, and I'm probably going to start with a light transition shade and work my way up. Let's see. I've been filming so many videos that I really need to get to cleaning my massive collection of brushes. So I'm going to start with, um, I'm actually going to start with this. It's called Fool's Rush. And it's more of a purpley pink um, transition shade instead of like a warmer transition shade like one of these. I'm going to go ahead and I didn't see how many take this off the mirror. It has a mirror. I love that. That's fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and I am, this is going to be very quick because I have a bunch of places to go today. I'm going to go eat lunch with my husband and while he's at work. And I'm going to take my daughter, the little one, the other two are at school. And um, then we're going to go grocery shopping, or at least try to, before everybody gets out of school. It's always easier that way. I really like this transition shade. It, it is soft enough to add depth and not look muddy. But it's got that cool tone that really is going to go well with the look that I'm achieving today. In my other video with the um, Luminous Air, um, I did do their blush and some of their highlight. As you can see, still have some of it there. I'm going to add some highlight on top, of course, because, you know, well, <laughs> why not, right? Um, but I really enjoyed using that. I know with more practice, um, it will get better. But um, it was actually not as hard as I thought it was going to be to use. We're just blending this out. We want to make sure it's nice and blended. We don't want to do a really crazy, like, heavy-duty, smoky eye or anything like that. Whenever you're videoing, you'll notice that most YouTubers have other mirrors that we look in. We're always like looking at different angles and stuff to make sure that um, the lights are doing true to form. My daughter is stomping around in here. She loves wearing her boots. Okay. As you can see, that's added, added depth to my crease. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my BH Cosmetics Quick Change Brush Cleaner. 
and then I'm going to switch over to um, a more densely packed brush. This is my Morphe brush, one of them. Uh, it's got a little more, more angle to it. And I'm going to go ahead and dip into FBO. I don't know what that means, to be honest. This one has more fallout, as you can tell. But, um, I mean, it never really, I have never found a product that has disappointed me from ColourPop yet. So, that's really impressive when it comes to a makeup line. Every makeup line usually has something where people are kind of like, eh, that's not really the best product. But, you know what? I'm not throwing any shade anywhere. I love ColourPop. You can just... It's still got the pigment there. Hello. I mean, pigment is really important. However, if you have a highly pigmented product and then you have a massive amount of uh, fallout, it's going to really, really, really mess with your look because especially like me, since I'm in a hurry right now and I have um, some places to go, if it um, falls out all over my face, I'm going to have a huge problem because I already have um, my foundation on and concealer and everything in between contour blush so if it if there was a lot of fallout you would not be able to handle it and you wouldn't be able to like go out and about like I would have to wash my face off and stuff like that I'm taking my um, first transition color remember whatever you do on the top crease lid area you want to bring it down underneath your lashes to really get a uniform look unless you're adding like a pop of color underneath. So I am back into the uh, Fool's Rush color. And I have it on a really tight brush. Um, this, I don't know where I, sometimes I don't know where I just pick up brushes, but it's very, very tight. It's like a pencil brush, but a little bit bigger. And I'm just dragging it along. I don't want fallout to happen. I'm on this. With purples, you do not want fallout to happen on your um, eyes because it will totally screw up everything. And I mean like everything. You will look like you have super dark circles instead. So that's definitely something. We so we are continuing on with this. Okay, now that we have everything that we did on the upper lid um, done, we're going to take a little brush by it's in the rose quartz it's number two Biatch cosmetics and we're gonna just blend it out a little bit so we have a nice uh, well blended look for that matter and bring it in bring it in bring it in okay bring it in okay, you see it transitioned everything together this because this is more of a cool tone this one is called um, candy gram and honestly, I'm going to take it on my finger because I want to see if I can actually just pop it on there. Again, this is just a regular packing brush. I don't know where I got it. But I'm going to take that same color that we put on our mobile lid, put it on a brush, tap off the excess, and just pop it on the inner corner of my eye always want to brighten up those areas and I'm going to pop it on my brow bone. Back. So this came in this little uh, packaging. It's called w Double Duty Beauty Tarte High Performance Naturals um, and this is in the Man Eater collection. I love that. Um, I have not tried their Man Eater, Man Eater palette. I've tried their Sex Kitten palette and their liners from the Sex Kitten line and I really like them. So I'm hoping that these will come through. For me, there was only one mascara that I tried and I didn't like um, from Tarte and it was the Tartiest, I think it was called. Um, I did not like that. I actually gave it to my mother because she likes more of a natural eye um, mascara. So um, I gave it to her. You're shaking up. And I'm going to start. Laying it down. Alright, let's see if I can get this open. And then, um, alright, it's open. Okay, ooh. 
Tarte has some very interesting brushes. I've always noticed they usually have like the spiky little idea. So let's see. <laughs> I guess my daughter shut the um, gate on my dog or before my dog could get in and she wasn't too happy about that. They are best of friends, I tell you what. As I have, I've done three coats of that mascara. As you can see, it is definitely more for a natural look. So if you're looking for just the va 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 boom boom look, this is not going to hit that point with you. But if you're looking for more natural or you're looking for someone who likes more natural, I would definitely go with this. It's very easy to apply and it um, is buildable, but this is after three coats. And usually if I put three coats of some certain types of mascara on, it's going to be like bam. Even like lights, camera, lashes of Tarte, if you put on three coats of that, your lashes are like bam. So this is definitely, like they said, high performance performance naturals however the liquid man eater um, one I'm gonna have to get a full size of this because this is very similar the um, bristles are very similar to the um, LA splash um, um, architect uh, liner that I absolutely love and so this is very similar to that they go on um, with felt tips they have a tendency to pick up your um, eyeshadows that you're wearing, especially if you're wearing a shimmery eyeshadow, it picks it up and then it doesn't want to lay down again. These are not felt tips. These are completely different. And these are, I've been hovering more towards these type of tips um, just because they lay down so beautifully and so precisely and you can flick out a long, uh, wing if you want to. As you can tell, I went for a more natural look. <laughs> I'm not going all out today. I'm just keeping it pretty natural. And, um, but yeah, that I really, really, really like this. Um, so, but the man eater, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this along to my mother, and I think she'll really like it, like she did the tardiest. Now I'm going to take the man eater um, regular liner, the cra more crayon type, um, and I'm going to do my waterline, my upper waterline, and I can already tell that this is very similar to the. Um, sex kit one because you have to push it down to bring up more product but I mean it's black as black can be and we all know I love my black liner so I'm just gonna line my waterline so now we're gonna move on to the new goddess highlighter it's well it's goddess glow highlighter by Tarte now this is this is the actual um, highlighter. Once you get it out, it's a beautiful packaging. It has a mirror in it. Hello, big mirror. Yes, love that. And it has beautiful like detail on this. I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. Now, I've heard mixed reviews on this, and I'm just going to have to go in and see how I feel about it. Again, everybody has their own feel about highlighters and everything. But, I mean, I wanted to give it a go and have my own personal experience with it and not um, have anybody else really influence me on what I was. So, what I did was I went in with my um, highlighter brush by e.l.f. Now, everybody knows I use this all the time. I use this for a fan brush. It has a very more natural type glow, which is nice, especially um, being on top of the other... Um, one being on top of the um, airbrushed one it actually really complements it and looks really nice it's not overwhelming it's buildable um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit my chin with it I like the fact that it's a natural type of highlighter it's not overwhelming maybe that's why I didn't get that very good reviews um, when it came to some other um, youtubers but I mean, I think it's great, it's buildable, and those of us who don't, can't always go full out with an, a, li a, a highlighter, I'll get my words out right in a minute. But I mean, on the nose, I mean, it just, you see that? That's very nice. And you know, it's buildable, you see, I mean, I've gone over this a few times now, and it's very buildable, it's very complimentary tone. I think any tone could wear this. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, yeah, I'll be holding on to this one. 
The only thing that I don't like is it does have a bit of kickback, if you can tell on the actual mirror for, version of the pan. It does have some kickback, but I mean, just go like that right quick and it's done. I mean, really. That's actually really, really pretty and it's perfect for what I'm going for today. I'm not trying to go all out and I'm not trying to go all crazy. So I'm going to actually put that in my everyday use pile and um, just uh, keep on going along with the liner. Yes, and um, so yeah, I really like that. I like both of the Maneater liners. They were really great. You can hear my daughter. I know you can hear my daughter in the background. She's cracking me up. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah shut the door for a second. <laughs> She's so crazy. So now we're going to move on to, I'm putting things up as I go because like I said, I am in a hurry, believe it or not. So my next thing is, is we're going to work with um, the lips. So I'm going to hurry up and line my lips without talking really quick. The color that I used today was by Rimmel. It's Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in Enchantment 070. Um, I really like those lip liners. They go on really, really smooth. You saw it was like effortless. Next, I'm going to start, you know, I was really leaning towards kind of using these together. So I think I want to do that, but I'm kind of like debating like, should I, shouldn't I? I really like them both. Goes along with what I'm doing here. So we're just gonna go ahead and dive on in. And both of these are liquid lips by BH, except one is an, a metallic. These are two colors that I've never used before, but I really like them. At least I'm really liking this one. I haven't tried on the other one yet. Wow, that's really pretty. That's really pretty just on its own. Hmm. Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? I'm going to do it. <laughs> this one is, uh, there are other, oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so I love them both. They both are fantastic colors, so I cannot um, choose between. I'm glad I decided to use them at the same time. They go really well with my shirt and this whole, um, my, even my hair. I'm really enjoying that nice, cool uh, look. Now I'm going to use my Milani Make It Last. And I like that it doesn't have like a heavy, heavy scent, but there is a slight scent to it. It smells so good. Okay, so this is my get ready with me really quick uh, kind of mauve look. And I love it. I'm so happy the way it turned out. But as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to put a link down below of my airbrush video for the foundation because I do see the foundation and blush are absolutely gorgeous from the um, airbrush and it hasn't even oxidized or anything so I'm I'm really really impressed with that um, anyways so I'll link that below and check that one out for me if you like this video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell that's down there so that every time that I make a new video you can get in 
notified by that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, much love, and you guys have a wonderful day. Till next time.